In this recording, I'll demonstrate how to effectively redraw and access equity under limited recourse borrowing arrangements in order to fund a member exit, or without stamp duty. This is a typical arrangement where Harry and Sally are joint members of a self-managed super fund. By utilising a limited recourse borrowing arrangement, their SMSF owns the premises from which Harry operates his business. The premises is worth $3 million with a loan of $2 million, leaving Harry and Sally with member benefits of $1 million between them. Four years later, the property has increased in value from $3 million to $4 million and they've paid off $1 million of the loan meaning both Harry and Sally have members balances of $1.5 million each, all tied up in the equity in the property. It's at this point Harry and Sally break up. Sally wants her $1.5 million member benefits. Harry, when am I going to be able to get my $1.5 million of super? There's just not enough cash to pay you out, Sally. We're not allowed to redraw on the loan. Well, we'll just have to sell the business premises then, Harry. I need my money. Hi, Kieran. It's, it's Harry here. Mate, Sally's leaving me and there's just not enough money in the fund to pay her out. Looks like I'm going to have to sell the business premises. Any thoughts? Harry, I might have a solution. Why don't you come into the office and we'll have a chat? Under your current structure, you're not allowed to increase the loan. So there's not enough cash inside the fund to be able to pay Sally her benefits. We can set up a new fund for Harry with $50,000 to buy the property from the existing fund. A bank would lend $2.5 million, meaning a deposit of $1.5 million is needed. However, this amount is tied up in Harry's equity in the existing fund. We could use the $50,000 as a first instalment of the purchase price. This $50,000 would then be a member rollover from the existing fund to the new fund. Harry's benefits would increase in the new fund and decrease in the old existing fund. This process would be repeated until the $1.5 million has been paid from the new fund to the existing fund, exhausting Harry's benefits in the existing fund. The $2.5 million from the bank would then be paid from the new fund to the existing fund to settle the purchase and extinguish the existing loan, leaving $1.5 million for Sally's member benefits. CTT rollover relief is available for relationship breakdown. However, this isn't the case for business associates who share the fund. Also, stamp duty relief on a super split is available such that the duty payable is only $20. If you would like more information, or wish to discuss splitting a self-managed super fund, please contact me, Kieran Hoare of Merthyr Law, on 3029 1600 to discuss.